Thank you for the purchase of your new Hilleberg tent. This film is a supplement to the instruction booklet. We recommend that you both read the booklet carefully as well as practice handling the tent before your first backcountry trip. The Tara is a very strong tent when used correctly, but it does require proper care and handling in order to function optimally. While pitching the tent, make it a habit to work in a kneeling position and to always put away loose bags so they don't blow away. It is also important to secure the tent against the wind to your backpack or elsewhere with one of the guy lines. Place the ground pegs in your pocket as they need to be close at hand while pitching the tent. If the weather turns foul, it's beneficial to have learned the setup routines. Spread out the tent on the ground and secure the short sides with pegs without stretching it too much. Fully extend the adjustable peg loop so that you can adjust them later. Press the ground pegs down at a 45 degree angle until only the top of the peg remains visible. Otherwise, the pegs might get pulled out in strong wind. If you can't get them in the ground by hand, then push or hammer them down with a stone, but do not step on them. For maximum longevity and durability of your tent poles, it's important that you're careful with them and that you put together one section at a time. Make sure that the segments are properly seated and that they don't drift apart while pitching the tent. A small gap can lead to pole breakage. Never throw the poles out of the bag. They can be damaged, and scratches can later lead to cracks in the poles. We have chosen the best poles on the market for our tents, but it is a lightweight product that requires proper handling, otherwise the poles may break and can, in the worst case scenario, lead to a dangerous situation. The four poles that accompanied your Tara all have the same length. Insert the poles into the pole sleeves and ensure that they are fully seated. The pole sleeves are color-coded to make it easy to get each pole into its correct corresponding sleeve. The pole sleeves are designed so you can use two poles. This increases the stability and strength of the tent in extreme weather conditions. Make sure the guy lines are fully extended. For added stability, wrap the guy line attachments around the crossing points on the poles. And then you press the ground pegs down solidly into the ground. Place the guy lines so that the tent is optimally stabilized against wind from all directions. Finally, tighten the guy lines, but do not tighten them to the point of deforming the tent. Attach the clips to the poles. If you're using double poles, attach them to every other clip. Be sure not to step on the tent as sharp objects underneath the tent can damage the fabric. Instead, open the entrance and stand in the vestibule if you're having difficulties reaching the upper clips. The vent cover is easily attached using hooks. In nice weather, you can remove the hooks and fold up the vent cover for maximum ventilation. But do not release the other attachment points. Securely tighten the vent cover by pulling the straps on the attachment points. For maximum stability, peg down the perimeter of the tent, making sure to press the pegs completely into the ground. The Tara is a self-supporting tent, but if possible, do get into the habit of securing all guy lines as weather conditions can quickly change. A well-pitched Hilleberg tent will handle great strain. The door of the outer tent can be rolled to the side and be secured with an elastic and toggle. By loosening the ground strap and ground pegs, the major part or the whole vestibule can be rolled aside. Never step on the door panel or let it lie on the ground because there is a great risk that dirt, sand or other debris will get into the zipper and damage it.
The entrance of the inner tent can be opened both from the top and the bottom and is rolled up and secured with an elastic loop and toggle. The inner and outer tent have one large adjustable vent placed in a high position and protected by the vent cover. It has both a no seam mesh and a snow secured flap that are easy to adjust from the inside and fasten with an elastic and toggle. For maximum ventilation, open the vents completely. Each end of the inner tent have a large zip open hatch leading to an opening covered with no seam mesh. For maximum ventilation, open the hatch completely. By removing all or part of the inner tent, you can create a larger inner space. This area is a good place to gather a group of people or to deal with your gear. A pull holder kit for the Tara is an optional accessory that makes it easy to set up the inner tent separately. Remember that even though the inner tent is water repellent, it is not waterproof. It should only be used in dry and warm conditions where there is no risk of rain. In order to take down the tent, repeat every step of the tent assembly process, but in reverse. Ensure that all the guidelines are fully extended in order to facilitate the next time you set up your tent. If you have the opportunity, it's a good idea to sweep and dry out the tent before taking it down. Close all zippers and clean them with a small brush. Detach the clips from the poles, and in windy weather, do go around the tent and loosen the clips from upwards to downwards so that all the tent walls have approximately the same height. Again, do make sure not to step on the tent. If you do not immediately place the poles in their bag, then they should be placed somewhere where no one will step on them or they can get lost. Check and clean any soiled ground pegs so that they're in good shape for the next time you use them. As you remove and fold up the poles, check if any of them have been damaged. Then put them along with the ground peg bag into the pole bag. Throughout the takedown process, make sure your tent is anchored and keep loose bags in your pockets so that they do not blow away. Fold the tent and roll it up together with a pull bag in the middle and put it into the tent bag. Alternatively, you can store the ground peg bag and pull bag separately. If you want, you can stuff the tent down into the tent bag instead of folding it, but then you should pack the poles and pegs separately. In humid conditions, you can remove the inner tent before the outer tent is disassembled and store it separately in your backpack. Next time you pitch the tent, first set up the outer tent and then attach the dry inner tent. Since the fabric of the outer tent is waterproof but not breathable, condensation can form on the inside of the outer tent. The use of an extra footprint, which is sold as an accessory, provides protection against ground moisture. Never store a wet tent for a long time. Hang it up to dry as soon as you can, preferably with the poles in place so that the fabrics are kept apart. We do welcome you to visit Hilleberg.com, where you can see our entire collection and learn more about your tent. You can also find out more about Hilleberg the Tentmaker, including our history, philosophy, 
and how we make our tents. Find out about expeditions that use Hilleberg tents and locate a dealer near you. You will also find information, equipment lists, and practical advice that can help you in planning your next backcountry trip. <laughs>